Hello, uh, just gonna do a quick training video on just setting stuff up from on the floor. Um, the assumption here is that on the back wall, uh, around about there, you've turned the master key on for all the electrics in the, in the room. Um, don't get caught out if you haven't turned the switch on by the main doors downstairs, then you also won't have power to the projectors. So do make sure you switch that one on as well. Um, so the main things for down here on the floor are obviously turning various cameras on. They have little on off switches on the front here for these ones. These ones is an on off switch on the top. And then on the studio cameras, you hold the power button down here. So that is turning on um, cameras. Uh, next thing is uh, over in the corner on the far right of the hall, we have uh, a lot of our racks and we currently have the lighting desk as well. Um, so remote controls are currently living here. So we've got the remotes for the various TVs um, on the side screens, remotes for the projectors um, and a remote little remote here is for the little LED tube lights. Um, so for the projectors, you just need to get in front of the projectors. There's three of them. Um, one does the kind of the worship end here. Um, and then you can see, see up there, the projectors. And then there's one that projects into the middle. So turn those on. Those are currently controlled by a laptop just around the side here. Um, it's the same feed that goes to all three projectors. The projector on the right hand wall has been image flipped so that when you're running um, like motion graphics and stuff, it looks like it goes into and out of from each other. Um, so if you were to have text, basically the right hand wall projector screen will display that text backwards. Um, so laptop is the normal kind of just hyper one password to go in there. Um, the projectors are set up by 1610 to fill the screen. So if you run an image in 169, basically you're gonna have it letterbox. So you'll miss the top and the bottom of the actual backdrop. So easy way to resolve that is in Worship Extreme, when you edit the queue, there is a little stretch option here. So if you tell it to stretch it, it will automatically stretch it out. Obviously, if you make the content in 16 by 10, then that won't be an issue anyway. Um, so that's that. Um, lighting desk wise, the on off button is on the back left hand corner. Um, typically, I normally say just put all the three gray faders up. And if you're on the roller strip here where it's got set, set two, set one, set three, etc., cetera, um, that just corresponds to these faders. So if I put up set two, which is in the middle, you'll see that is all the lighting for the hosts. Um, the set one is down the end uh, where we do like interviews and stuff. Set three is the bit uh, for the worship end. Um, there is a set rear, so set one rear. So there are some lights that will project onto the backdrop. So if you weren't projecting, um, it just helps to get rid of some of the shadows off of the back wall. Obviously, if you've got projectors on, you're not gonna want them on because it blows it out a lot. Now, I've designed it so that these faders are up full. There are gonna be times, especially if you look at the worship set, where you don't want to have that crazy brightly lit. So you might only want half the amount um, of lighting. So on the lighting desk, just bring that white fader for that set three down to about halfway. You're gonna to have to just gauge it a little bit, but one, it helps the projectors to stand out more. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna have a more of a, a softer glow on people's faces. Uh, obviously that will change as we learn and develop stuff. A um, couple of other things to probably note on the floor. This isn't, you you must know this stuff, but it's just good to know this stuff. Um, there is a speaker sits on the corner of the stage that's connected to two mics up in the video and the sound booth. That's so the guys up there can talk to the people on the floor. Um, the electrics have all been separated out. So you'll see this one here is labeled as sound backline, i.e band stuff can plug that in there that's so they're not on the same circuits as the lights so the lights are all on their own circuit and then um, all our PA stuff is also on uh, its own circuit so do make sure you're plugging stuff into the right things um, main thing to note is just don't unplug anything from down here and don't if there's a bit of tape on a, an extension lead that means don't plug anything more in it otherwise you'll end up tripping out the electrics um, 
Only other things to note on the floor would be, there are a couple of monitors down in the middle. Um, there's one in the middle, one at the far end. They both show the countdown clock, controlled from in the video booth, which I'll go for on another um, video. Um, there is two monitors that show what the live feed is. And then the last monitor um, on the floor down here shows the multi view. So that is so that you can see what all the camera shots are, camera angles, um, etc. Um, just good to know, keeping an eye out for cables on the floor. These cables are pretty delicate. So if people are standing on them or they're getting really sort of knotted up, do uh, just keep an eye on that because the cable runs are about 40 meters each and they have to go up and over the ceiling. So to replace one of them is gonna cost a couple of days worth of time plus a few hundred quid for the broken cable. Um, so that is everything on the floor. So um, make sure you watch the other videos for about the video booth stuff, the sound stuff, um, and just some general bits and pieces.